What's up guys, I am Black Ops Amazing and welcome back to another Call of Duty Zombies video on my channel. Today I am going to be showing you what could be a second possible map that will be coming along with Black Ops 3 Zombies. Now we know that the first map is going to be Morgue City or Shadows of Evil. If we go back to previous Call of Duty games in Black Ops 1, we got Kino de Toten and we also got 5 as our starting maps. In Black Ops 2 we got Transit but along with Transit we got loads of different areas uh, you know, in with that. And again if we go back to World at War, that was the start of Zombies, the only map we really got for that was um, um, Verrucked, I believe, or what was the first map we actually got for World at War? I can't quite remember right now. Knack Deer on Toten. Uh, but like I said, with Black Ops 3, we could be getting two Zombies maps straight from the box. Now, we know that Shadows of Evil will be a big map, uh, just like Transit was. In fact, it is going to be bigger than Transit. Uh, but just like they did with Black Ops 1, Treyarch could be throwing us in a second map for Black Ops 3 Zombies. Maybe it won't be as big as... Um, you know, as Shadows of Evil, it won't be as big as any of the other maps. And we also know that you will be getting the Giant if you pre-order Black Ops 3 or get the Hardened Edition. You can get the Giant as a bonus map. Uh, but straight out of the box, Treyarch could be giving us two Zombies maps. Now, this has actually come out recently. There's also been leaks in the past relating to this as well. Now, if you go into the code files, into the game files of Black Ops 3, when it released for the PC... Hackers went into the game files of Black Ops 3 and found loads of different coding. And uh, part of that coding said ZM underscore Forest. Now, there was loads of other things found within the coding as well. You may be thinking, well, this could mean nothing. Well, um, earlier this week as well, GameStop managers uh, all gathered up together to do a uh, meeting on games, I guess you could say, or a manager's conference is what it was actually called. And Activision was there showing off Black Ops 3. Now, uh, there was actually a screenshot taken, you know, no one could actually go in there it was just for GameStop managers and uh, different game companies were there. Activision was there showing off Black Ops 3 and the GameStop managers got to play Black Ops 3. Now there was no information given you know about what happened at the event although this screenshot that I actually can't show you I will link it down in the description if I do show you on video Activision are going to give me a copyright strike so you know you you will have to find it in the description if you want to but I will explain it. So the screenshot was taken you see people playing Call of Duty Black Ops 3, but they're actually playing zombies. Instead of multiplayer, you can see them playing zombies. And uh, it's something brand new. You can see the zombies loading screen. It looks exactly the same as the multiplayer loading screen. The setting, you know, the layout of it is exactly the same. Uh, although, in the background, um, same as multiplayer, when you choose your multiplayer map, the whole background changes to the kind of like layout or the setting of that map well it's the same for zombies when you choose that zombies map the whole background changes to the setting of that zombies map and funnily enough for this map you can see a zombie and behind him is a forest and loads of different trees this wouldn't relate to shadows of evil we know that's going to be set in morgue city chicago it's a city you know there's no forest around there like i said um the giant there's no forest around there either uh so what is this map that includes forest it's kind of got like a dark blue setting to it what is this map it's something we've never actually seen before and again the coding we got earlier said zombies forest uh, could this be a second map that Treyarch are adding into the game we really don't know but it definitely does look different another thing to point out is that we can see four players actually playing call of duty zombies now maybe it's just four people all teamed up together but what if esports is coming to zombies you know um that could be a possibility, I'm not 100% sure, but it's definitely four players all playing together on Call of Duty Zombies. I hope esports doesn't come to zombies, uh, I love it how it is right now. That'd be a shame, but possibly this is a second map that will be set in a forest area. I really wish I could show you the image on screen. I can't, I will have to link it down in the description. And also on that image, there seems to be different balls. A lot of people said these are gumballs. They said you can choose uh, five different gumballs you would like to get from this gumball machine. Uh, but if you actually take a look at the gumball machine, you can only see five different colors in it. So I'm not sure if I agree with that. That could be the choice where, you know, you can choose your gumballs. We're not, we're not even sure if the gumball machine will be available in this forest map. Uh, but let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Are we going to be getting three maps for zombies, including the bonus map, the giant? I think we will be. We do have the forest coding as well. 
Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I would have loved to have shown you the image, but it will be down in the description. You only have to, you know, click it once and it will show you the image. It is blurry, but, um, you know, try and get what you can out of it. I will have more videos very soon. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Share this around. Make sure you like the video. Let's go for 935 likes and, uh, you know, drop a subscribe if you want to see some more from me. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And until next time, peace out.